Here's a video I'd like to show you how to make firewood so that they will remain big blocks such, such as you burn in America's stoves. I understand that when you use so-called open air stoves you need bigger blocks so that the, the splits that they would burn longer time. On my previous videos I have chopped the wood as small kindlings and that is because we have a different kind of heating system. Our stoves are made of big uh, soapstone bricks and uh, in purpose uh, that they uh, preserve the heat what comes out of the, the wood and the main main idea is to burn the wood with high oxygen and high temperature so that all the heat preserves into the bricks and so they give give back the heat during the let's say 48 hours but you there still have different kind of systems and now I show this is quite a big they can birch tree. It's not, it's not really any, any problem, you see. I just put it in half and then half again. I understand that you need this kind of big size. Like this. Is it okay? So far I haven't found any problem trees to leverage. The branches. They may slow down a bit, but you know, they're not really a problem. And now when I hit, I hit to the to the place where, where the where the bar is, right here. Not in the middle, but here. So the resistance is smaller in the tree. It's only the half of it. If I compare it to the way if I hit into the middle. So it goes. No problem. And again, not into the middle, but to the to the side where the bark is. So, and then again, now it's in four pieces. Okay, Just a bit. some branch inside, but no problems. They are loose. You know this lever axe never sticks into the wood. It, it, uh, you don't have to use your power in trying to take the blade away out of the wood because it, it really does not stick into the wood. It never, the blade never comes to the wood because the uh, energy stops on the block. This goes like this, that's just the wood, here's more weight than here, it starts to lean, it makes this kind of a movement in a fraction of a second. It spreads the wood up to 8 centimeters, and then it stops here, it won't go to your foot, no problem. Here's a little bit tougher, but it will give up, you see? inside hidden branches but the rest is, the rest is easy again not, not so much any, any resistance so as you can see good American firewood branches branches around I try to hit the between and so and here we go this is great fun I love this so you know this axe blade never touches the bottom of this uh,
big one. Oh, boy, it's heavy. And again, of course, if you want to split, split this kind easier way, the smaller splits, you go around here like this. Take one split, ready split and go around. And it's very easy. But I, I try to put this into four pieces again. There is some resistance, but as you can see, the blade won't touch, stick into the block. Now it's in two pieces. These are too big for, for our stones. That's just as to show that it goes. And just to mention, I'm 69 years old. It's an old bag. This does not require so much power than a conventional splitting. You see, very big blocks. Big one. Oh. I made hundreds of cubic meters firewood. I'll show the other way. Just start aside. So here we go. There we go. So what's the problem? Okay, duck. So it is. You can see this. That's full of splits. Maybe 500 here, there's maybe 50 or 70 cubic meters wood, everything made by me.